Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Jim, and this is Exploretti. Today we're doing a few breaking miles on the Aprilia Touareg 660. We're just west of Sedalia, Colorado, heading up into the foothills. We've had a little bit of light snow. You can see some pockets still in the shaded areas. Looking for a little bit of dirt today. Looks like all the packed snow and ice has melted off, which is great. Hopefully that's a good sign for uh, some of the dirt we're going to run into today. You can see it's mostly overcast today, keeping the temps down. I think we're probably mid-40s. And the further we go west and the higher up in elevation, I'm anticipating that dropping a bit more. That's 47. Tell you what, some heated grips would be nice right now. So we're going to head out by West Creek, Colorado today weather, time, and uh, road conditions permitting. Let's see if we can't find a little bit of dirt out there to play on. Right now I'm riding with everything on my back in my uh, backpack. It would be so much nicer to have some of that in a tank bag. So that's probably going to be my, my first luggage purchase. If you have any favorite tank bags, that you like, you like their functionality, you like the way they mount to the bike, uh, please stick them in the comments. Side that is. Let's switch over to our uh, off road mode. here one time on my Pan America. It was a lot of fun. A little ruddy here and there. I don't quite remember how this all goes, to be honest. I'm more concerned about getting into some, uh, some other traffic. I just jacked that camera up. I need to stop and adjust a camera here. All right, well, we'll see if that helps. Who knows? I don't think I'm gonna have to deal with this stuff too much. Yeah, let's see what's up ahead here. fun to get a feel for a new bike off-road. There's an old saying in the, uh, the mountain bike community that you want to pre-ride a course, then you want to re-ride it, and then you free-ride it. I feel like coming up this might be a good time though. Oh, this looks a little washed and rutted. I think we're just gonna stay on this line. Oh, this looks a little... A little snowpacky there.
Definitely need to get a little work in on the rolling on and off the throttle on the, uh, the Touareg. Whew, yeah, nice. Side to side transition is pretty nice on this. Huh, interesting. I feel like I locked the back brake up, but when I pulled off of it, it stayed locked up. All right, got the drone up, let's have some fun. One thing about having the drone up, you can definitely outrun it, uh, especially on a motorcycle. I'm sure on a bicycle, whatever. Now this looks like an interesting scenario here, yes? That's slippery. This does not look ideal here. I got my beacon disconnected, but we're just gonna have to go down this at this point. Yeah, and we already lost the drone. Come on, drone. Come back to us. It's close. Oh, there it is. So this area of the trail is kind of packed snow. Just kind of got to roll through it, but uh, hopefully we don't have to deal with that too much because that's not super fun to ride on, at least not for me. Yeah, that's all right. That's not a blast. Alright, they might have one more behind them. Alright, so the fist up means that he is the last in their group. I may have launched the drone a little too soon. Alright. Well, we are going to put the drone uh, away at this point. <laughs> All right. I'm going to land this thing. We're going to head down a little bit more, but man, I'll tell you what, if this continues to just build up into more snow and, and ice, yeah, I don't know if I love this. This is kind of that, hey, do you, you know, you're going to go down this and then you're going to have to come up it. Is that something you really want to do? Yeah, <laughs> there goes that. There goes that wind guard. Let's get all this trash picked up. I think that's a, a signal to me. Those saying, "Hey, don't go this way." And get our uh, kickstand out. The Hepco Becker engine guard did its job. I mean, it protected this area of the bike here, uh, but it definitely paid for it in the sense of, you know, here I can barely, here down here, I can't get a finger through there. And then up here, we got plenty of room. Now, what may have happened is the entire 
crash bar may have shifted over to the right. know what that is but I think we can take that out with us too there should be room all right I'm just gonna kind of walk her up a little bit here better better okay okay all right It does make me wonder a little bit, you know, how much snow and ice is, is too much. So what do you guys think? At, at what point is too much snow and ice too much snow and ice? What do you guys use to determine when to turn around? Do you find yourself slowly, step by step, getting in until uh, you're well in over your head? Or do you recognize that? Thanks for joining me. It's always fun to ride with friends. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm how, uh, and helps the channel out. Uh, until next time, ride safe, everybody.